Welcome to the MicroSession virtual conference. In this session, we will uh, see how easy it is to produce stunning visualizations with MicroSessions and the different options that our application offers. My name is Marco Salino, and I'm one of the MicroSession product managers. So visualization is one of my areas of responsibility, and with this presentation, we will see how we can help every architect, designer, or engineer to create stunning images to better communicate their ideas and designs. A strong visual appeal can make the whole difference in a proposal being successful or not. Let's start by saying that the capability of visually communicating the intent of your design and your vision is not an option anymore. It is pretty much a requirement for any project to have a chance of being successful. The saying, a picture is worth a thousand words, is precisely why visualization has become an integral part of virtually every project. Whether it is a building, bridge, or a highway exchange, Images communicate your vision much quicker and much more effectively than sketches or, or 2D drawings. The initial impression and viewer's perception of any project is significantly influenced by how visually appealing the presentation is. So shouldn't your ideas be visualized as beautifully as possible? We can see here the exact same scene before and after the visualization processing. Which one would you prefer to use to, to win a project? And what if creating and delivering the better quality image didn't require years of learning and countless hours of frustrating trial and error? What if all you need is a little bit of practice and a few clicks? Visualization has always been seen as a separate and specialized activity, even more than modeling. It has always been perceived as, an, as extremely complex time-consuming and expensive, requiring a lot of time uh, for both learning and processing, and also the most up-to-date hardware. So we heard from many of our users how scary it is to even try rendering an image, uh, because they don't have the time to, to become rocket scientists and only have mid-range machines available. So often, they, they revert to save, saving a JPEG from their modeling view, and they use that in their you know, weekly or by monthly review meeting with their clients. That is surely less than impressive nowadays. And clients really expect more. Some of you may have a dedicated visualization or computer, gra computer graphic team, but these are always overloaded and working on some bid-winning visuals and often can't satisfy all the requests quickly enough. So unfortunately, they can become a bottleneck that forces many project teams to do without good visualizations. These, in many cases, are still considered as nice to have instead of a, a must-have. And of course, once you're in front of a client discussing the project, uh, you can't afford to, to have one of these experts with you to incorporate the client's feedback and re-render the designs you know, right away on the spot. And the client can't wait for your request to reach the team and for the new image to arrive because it takes time. To be effective, this needs to be pretty, easy, and quick. So I've heard several users across different disciplines, from civil engineering to building design professionals, voicing their concern and frustration about not being able to fully communicate the potential of their designs to, to their clients and how they really wanted to see prettier and more realistic images and were not happy with wireframes or, or simple shaded views. So nowadays, a good level of detail, realistic looking materials with reflections and shadows are, are pretty much standard expectations. So you shouldn't have to be in this position. It's unfair and can jeopardize the relationship with your clients. But what if every CAD user had easy to master and simple to use uh, visualization tools rather than having to rely on the computer graphic expert bottleneck? What if you could produce stunning images without the need for a high-end computer and graphic card? What if every project team member had the ability to quickly produce clear and compelling visual presentations of their design models for either internal reviews or 
and also for, for client presentations. Macro session can help now. For example, physically based rendering materials or PBRs are the modern way for applying materials and textures to, to your models. They look stunning and are simple to use and they can be used right within the model view without any need for an actual rendering. If you want to take your visual presentation a step forward, you can use the new path tracer for achieving photorealistic quality without the need to be a computer graphic expert. It is easier and faster and than other rendering techniques and takes advantage of all the computing powers of recent graphic cards. But don't worry, this doesn't mean you, you have to spend your budget in expensive hardware upgrades to use it. So using PBR is the first and easiest step in creating beautiful, more realistic images. PBR materials are quickly becoming an industry standard. And if you are worrying about finding a good selection of materials to get started, we've got you covered. You can access an extensive delivered library of PBR's material right within MicroStation. We converted our standard material library to PBR and added a super easy button for toggling between the PBR and legacy materials. You can see it there in the picture, the little blue circle. PBR materials deliver much higher quality without having to deal with the myriad of settings that were required when using legacy materials. There are only four settings now to understand and experiment with, and it is hard to believe you can get this quality so easily. And you don't have to render to benefit from PBRs. This quality is available right now in the modeling views. MicroStation also support real-time shadow casting to make your model look even more realistic. You can see in this clip the difference between the two motorbikes. The two models are identical, except that one uses PBR materials and the other one doesn't. Look at the reflection, the detail, the roughness or smoothness of all surfaces, especially metals. See how much more vibrant and real the PBR bike looks. The legacy materials we were used up to until a while ago, which were great, suddenly now look so dull. And you will see these improvements right in your modeling views with no need to push a render button and wait not even a few minutes for the results. Here is a very brief demonstration of how easy it is to use physically based rendering materials and how can this can significantly improve the look of your models right away and without extra effort. Just open our material library, select the PBR material you want to use, adjust one of the settings if you need to, and you're done. No need to wait for the image to be rendered. You can pan, rotate, zoom, uh, you, know, you can adjust the view any way you want. All the details and reflections are visible in real time. We have, so we have seen how these new visualization capabilities can help you communicate your designs and ideas uh, to your clients without needing to spend years learning ray tracing or other complicated topics and without having to rely on a dedicated team or colleague to work out the, you know, the visualization rocket science. But sometimes you need to up your game to really impress your clients. And this is where uh, when photorealistic rendering comes into play. For non-computer graphic experts, the words photorealistic rendering can be frightening. As we mentioned before, the perception about photorealistic rendering is that it has been very complicated and something, only, something that only a small niche of computer graphics experts uh, are willing to do. And it's understandable since in the past, it really was a challenging task that looks a lot of time, a lot of computing power and expertise. So this perception has been pushing engineers and architects to either rely on, you know, on third parties or you know, on dedicated experts to produce an image that they need for their meetings or to use a low quality one they could simply save from one of the modeling views. But you don't have to fear photorealistic rendering anymore. So meet the new path tracer. What is the path tracer and why it is, dif is it different? Well, it is a physically unbiased rendering engine, which require, requires far less settings and tweaking to create a stunning photorealistic image. It supports and helps you uh, get the most out of PBR materials, and it is similarly easy to use. 
It comes with ready-to-use rendering presets and atmospheres for a quick and easy start. The Path Tracer utilizes the computing power of the GPU on your graphic card, which is far more efficient and faster than the CPU for processing these types of rendering computations. You don't have to worry, though, if you don't own and can justify buying the latest and fastest graphic card. We know how difficult it can be to buy an expensive piece of hardware, and if you own a laptop, you might not want or need to change it right now. For these reasons, we implemented the latest available technologies to cut down rendering times using normal hardware while still achieving stunning results. You don't have to look at all these complicated settings and dialogues. Just pick a render quality preset, select an atmosphere, and you're ready to go. The quality is stunning, the results are physically correct, and the rendering times are shorter. The path tracer starts off with a, a noisy or grainy image and keeps refining the quality by reducing the, this noise. The longer it runs, the better the quality of the image is. That's it. In this video, we can see how easy it is to set up and start a render. You don't have to look at all these complicated settings or, and dialogues. Just pick a render quality presets, select an atmosphere, and you're ready to go. You can also change the brightness level while the image is being rendered, without having to restart the process. And you can see how the, change, the changes in real time. You can apply a number of different adjustments to, to the view, such as changing the zoom level or perform a fit to view. Micro Sessions photorealistic rendering makes the most of the latest advancements in denoising technologies from NVIDIA and Intel, and it is ready to implement um, newer technologies like the AMD ones as soon as they will be available to us. Denoising is a process that utilizes sophisticated algorithms to transform a noisy quick render into a much higher quality image by filling in the missing information. This means much faster rendering without having to invest in expensive hardware upgrades. You can achieve stunning results in a much shorter time, and the denoising only takes a fraction of a second. We implemented both denoising solutions to make this great technology available to as many users as we could. The Intel denoisers will work on any GPU, including the processor integrated ones, while the NVIDIA one requires a reasonably recent GPU based on the Maxwell technology or newer. This would be any NVIDIA GPU from the past four years. The new view rendering engine comes with a full set of rendering presets and atmospheres uh, to enable you to produce stunning realistic images with minimum effort and make it fun. The new view rendering engine in MicroStation also includes a more traditional ray tracer should you need the ultimate control over all the rendering settings. There are also some new great capabilities to tweak your images after they have been rendered. For example, we're introducing the capability of changing the lighting of a render image. You can see here, we're adjusting the light levels of an image after this has been processed. This means you can tweak your image to get the best look and results without having to reprocess the image for every time or use any more complicated workflow when you render, for example, a very low quality image as a preview every time. Find, you know, find your correct or your optimal light settings and then commit to a longer render for your final quality. All this is happening in your final quality image in post-production. As part of the new post-rendering effects, we can also apply non-photorealistic rendering effects to our rendered image, again in post-production. This allows you, to, allows you to give your images that extra touch to make them stand out and deliver your vision even, and concept even more effectively. So, we reached the end of this session. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you are very curious and willing to try out the new macro session visualization capabilities to add more value to your project and to have a better chance to be successful. Thanks for your time and attention and goodbye.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.